Okay, hello everyone. I am here to discuss of the topics of the research course, namely the object of study of research. Uh, of course, I'm not alone because I'm in with my friend Nico Mangvera. My friend and I will explain the meaning, element, and object of study from research. It's left together with my friend. Let's go get into the material. Okay, before going any deeper, it is better if we first know what the meaning of the disorder itself is. The word disas come from the word pachana from Sanskrit language, which means reading. The word disas is then absorbed into Indonesia and its meaning become speech conversation, or lecture. The word disorder is used as uh, an equivalent or translation of the word disorder in English. Etymolo etymologically, the word disorder comes from the Latin word disorders. In linguistic, disorder is understood as a lingual unit that is about the sentence level. In grammar, this is the highest or largest grammatical unit. Then, uh, one this one slide we will discuss about this source position and this source analysis. Here there are power sequence of position in the file of this source and their relation to linguistic. For number one. There are paragraph and disorders, and then there are two, there are passes, clauses, and sentence. Then the third, there are morphem and word. And the last one, language sounds. So in this first paragraph, paragraph and disorders, there are two things as input in the classification of disorders studies. Then for passes, clauses, sentence, then to think this of include in the classification of scientific studies. Then for morphemes and words, they are include in the classification of morphological studies. And for the last one, namely language sounds, they enter into the study of Chronologic science. And then of the next slide, we will discuss the integrity of the source. That integrity of the resource include the following is this is the first is cohesion. The cohesion is the relationship between sentence and paragraph, which can cause the sentence and paragraph to become a uh, unfiled whole so that it becomes a complement research the the resource about uses as conjunction relation relationship pattern the conjunction is a conjunction then the second one is coherent coherence the coherence is a systematic relationship between sentence it is this connection that is causes the sentence to become on file. That is the understanding the to process about how to making the sentence. Okay, so that is the understanding the motorcycle taxi for the studies and the integrity of the research. For the next point, uh, my colleague Nico Mangvera invites me to continue the presentation. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Siska. Next. Furthermore, the, the structure of this first according to Luxembourg is divided into two into three, namely the beginning, middle, and end. The initial part of abstract in the structure of the discourse is the opening part which contains greeting and explanation. 
in the discourse structure, there is a greeting from the presenter to the audience as a, as a maker for the opening of an event and continue with the presentation of the theme to be discussed. The middle part of this course appears the existence of ex exchange and transaction. Exchange is an initiative in the form of an introduction leading to a question and answer to a question and feedback based on an answer in the form of a um, question. The last part of the discourse is the closing part of the discourse. The end of the discourse is mark marked by the, presentation, the presenter who begins the close the event. The presenter close by presenting a closing from the time that have been discussed. Next, it ends with a closing greeting from the host, the host to the guests and audience. Next. Okay. Then, then the discourse structure according to Fandich. First, the microstructure is the global meaning of a text that can be used, understood. Truck is topic. The topic is represented in one of several sentences, which are the main idea of main idea of the discourse. Then the superstructure is a structure that is used to describe the economy, where the entire topic or global content, global content of the news is interested. The superstructure organizes topic by arranging sentence or news unit based on the desire or the Ours generally have a scam or plot from the introduction to the plot show how the part in the text are to discourse itself, which consists of several elements, namely. First, the syntax, syntactic element is one of the important ideology. In other words, drop a curtain syntactic structure, reader can catch the meaning behind the sentence in the news. In this element, there is coherent. Coherent is element is as conditional and discriminatory. Then, in this element, there is also Daniel sentence form and pronouns. Two, this semantic element is very closely related to the token and syntactic elements because the use of curtain lexicon and syntactic structures in news can give rise to content meaning meanings. The following are the element of discourse that are classified as semantic elements. The first is background, the total intense and presupposition. Third, the lexicon element concerns the choice of diction. The choice of diction has been known to express both 
ideology and conformity. And sorry, as happened to Tories and freedom factor, how the same actor is described with two different diction has implication for the reader's understanding of the actor. Next. Okay. Furthermore, the types of discourse study based on the medium of delivery. Discourse is divided into two, namely oral and written discourse. Oral discourse is a type of discourse that is delivered orally or directly verbally. Then, Written discourse is a type of discourse that is delivered in writing until now. Written discourse is a, is a very effective and efficient medium to convert insight, ideas, and knowledge. Based on the number of speaker, discourse is grouped into two, namely monologue and dialogue. Monologue discourse is a type of discourse spoken by one person, for example, speeches, news reading, and so on. The dialogue discourse is a type of discourse spoken by two or more people. This type of discourse is in written or oral form. For example, dialogue, dialogue ketoprak, jokes, so on, and so on. Based on the nature of the discourse, it is divided into two, namely literary discourse and non-literary discourse. Literary discourse or fictional discourse is a discourse words from and content are oriented towards imagination. The language adheres to the flow of con connoted, connotative, unlogical, and multi-interpretable. In general, the appearance and of the language are literally and beautifully packaged. However, it is possible that fiction Fiction, fiction, oh, sorry, curtain fact, even the same as really, reality. These types of discourse are prose, poetry, and drama. Furthermore, on fiction, fiction, discourse is also called scientific discourse. This type, this type this of discourse is del delivered with scientific pattern and ways that can be just with used is denoted, denoted straightforward and clear, for example, research report and so on. So many presentations from us. Thank you for watching. Bye. Okay, thank you.